In the back office, access your user settings, and then go to My Account. Once in My Account, we'll need to go to My Devices. In My Devices, you'll be able to see an ability to export your list, view a device activity report, or add additional device slots. When it comes to your devices, each station name represents an actual point-of-sale station terminal in your store. If you do not have enough, you can add one by clicking Add a Device. You'll need to read the terms and conditions listed here. Adding a device may incur additional monthly fees according to NCR Silver's current pricing and or your contracted rate. By clicking OK, you agree to pay these additional fees. Once you click OK, the device name will be listed as Open. You'll see the station name, where you have the ability to key in a station name, and the app version, model, and operating system, including the last use, will be listed as blank. That's because we need to go on to our next step, which is to complete the registration. I'm going to click Save Changes. And let's move on to the point of sale screen. On the point of sale screen, you should have already downloaded the application, or if you're using one of our Android systems, the application would have been, down would have been downloaded through an automated process. No matter what, though, on either system, you will be presented with this screen to complete out your registration. Here, you'll need to put in the username that you use to access the back office and the password that you use to access the back office. This helps to tie in this device to your particular account. Once I hit Log In, I will then be provided with a list that reflects our device registration page. If I click Open, all of the open information will be occupied with my iPad's information. If I click on another device name, which is already occupied, this will override and kick off the other device. There is no verification option, so be very careful when you click on the name. Once you do click on the name, a data sync will occur where the system will begin to download items, customers, and any special configurations. This will only be done once and it should take a couple of minutes. Be advised, the timing could be a bit longer though if your internet is slow. Once you see the login screen, you'll know that you are successfully registered to the back office. And if you'd like to look at it from the back office's point of view, you can always refresh your page and see that yes, my device is now listed here, and here is the last used date and time.